Hey y'all, finally back home, finally showered, and finally time to edit all the videos we've been taking. And as I've been editing, it just occurred to me, why don't I show y'all what I'm doing, how I do it on what software, what I've learned, things like that, right? Uh, and we're going to try to keep it as chill as possible because I remember when I first started, I got really overwhelmed by all the information, the names of the things, like it was a completely foreign language to me, right? Um, so we're going to try to keep it as simple as possible. In this case, if you learn anything from this video, hopefully is keyframes, keyframe, 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 right? Uh, just about every editing software has it, right? What is a keyframe? Why do I need to learn what a keyframe is, right? Well, a keyframe is your way to communicate with the software and tell it what you want it to do at that specific time, right? So if you can't communicate with the software, you can't do anything. That's why keyframes are so important because that's how you communicate with the software, okay? So let's get to it. Let me turn you around. Today, we're, using, we're editing from my Insta360 X4 camera. I have it hooked up to my computer. And um, as I said, I've already started, I've already been editing uh, this video right here. So we're gonna talk about uh, keyframes. First, let me just go ahead and show you uh, the timeline. Again, if you can't remember all these names, that's totally fine, but you do need to know the timeline. Timeline is from this white line all the way to this white line. What is the timeline? It's your video. That is your video. If, we, if I go click it over here, I'm at the beginning of the video. The more I go, your video moves along with you. So your timeline is your video, okay? So on your video, we add a keyframe to tell it what we want it to do. And those are these little yellow dots, okay? Now, not every so software has a little yellow dot. For example, Premiere Pro is a little uh, diamond, a blue diamond, and uh, uh, Quick is a bracket. Uh, but point is, everybody has a um, uh, keyframe that you add on a timeline in order to communicate with the, your video to let it know what you want to do, okay? So, how do I add a keyframe, right, would be the next question, right? And that's extremely simple. If we go down here, circle with a plus, let me go ahead and put the mouse on top of that, add keyframe, either by clicking on it or control K. Now, let me be clear, this is Windows. I use Windows. I don't know how it would translate into Mac. I don't really use Mac, so I wouldn't know, but this is Windows, okay? So that's how you add a keyframe, okay? So let me show you. See the timeline right here? That's where I am on my video. I'll go ahead and click. Boom, there is my little yellow dot, which is my keyframe. Now, that little dot, all it tells, uh, all it's showing is like, okay, at this specific spot, you want to do something, okay? Ooh, this little box is kind of like the keyboard on your on your computer, okay? Right here, tell me, tell me what it is that you want me to do, okay? For today, we're only going to focus on this one, this one, and this one. As you can see, there's plenty to do, right? But I'm sure just by the pure images, you can guess what they do this one right here what do you guys think it's gonna do yeah of course it's just gonna rotate the video this one right here that looks like an elevator what do you guys think it's gonna do up and down that's right and then this last one mm -hmm. you, you see you're y'all are already a pro right to left right now how do i move it how do i tell it okay there it is but how do i tell you i want it to go up or i want it to go left or i want you to rotate a little bit right Simple, very, very simple. There's two different ways. I'll show you the one that I mainly use, okay? you. Let's say I want to go up. I click and drag. That's it. You guys see the numbers moving and you see the video going up and down? Click and drag. Let's say for whatever reason, that's where I want. Okay, I let go of the mouse. I'm not clicking anymore. And there you go. And now how do I tell, let's say that's all I wanted to do. Or, well, let me show you before that. Here's how you rotate. That's what that looks like. Oh, that makes me a little dizzy. And then right and left, right? Let's just say that's exactly where we want. Obviously, that's not. But uh, let's just say that's exactly where we want our video to be. How do I tell now the computer, my software, that that's in? I don't want to do any more changes. Simple again. <laughs> we just keep going. We just press play. And that's it. Now my keyframe right there is there and it, the, computer, the software already knows that when it gets to that spot, that's what I want it to do, okay? 
in this case we don't need this keyframe so we're gonna go ahead and close it out we're gonna delete it oh I should have probably told you how. <laughs> sorry it's because I already know so okay there's two ways to deleting the keyframe uh, the first one and the one that I use is as you notice as soon as I'm there right down here there's a little X I can just click it and it will delete or you can go right back to where you added that keyframe and if you see how it's not a plus, it's an X, so you can go ahead and click it and it will also delete it. Me personally, I use this one because like, for example, if I'm at the beginning of the video, and I want to erase that keyframe. I don't want to go all the way over here to close it when I can just go to the bottom and close it. So me personally, I just use the X down here. All right, we'll erase that one because we don't need it. All right, so now that we know what a keyframe is, what it does, how to add it on and things like that, let's see it in action right let's go ahead and see it in action all right so in this case there's my last keyframe right there as you can see i don't have anything else on my timeline after that all right so me personally there's two different ways that you can use uh keyframes me personally i always like to close out most of the time i should say most of the time close out keyframes all right in this case this is my first one i don't have it closed yet all right, let me show you what I mean by that. Let's go ahead and move the video along. Boom, boom, boom. We're still good there. We're still good there. We're still good there. We're still good as in we're still pointing to the right place. All right, all right, here we go. All right, right there. I'm going to stop it right there. Okay, right there, you notice we turn to the other aisle, to the other side, and clearly, I don't want you guys to see these boxes. I want you guys to see the inflatables up at the top but you can't see them yet because my camera is pointing this way. How do I fix that? <laughs> That's right, with a keyframe, right? But if I go ahead and add a keyframe here and tell it to look up, since I didn't close my last keyframe, it will go ahead and mess up this keyframe, okay? So that's why most of the time, I like to close out keyframes and then add the next one. So let's go ahead and rewind a little bit on the timeline right here. We'll go back to where we were still facing this way. There you go. Okay, so up to right there, it seems like I still want to face that way. So we'll go ahead and add another keyframe right there. Click. There's my keyframe. In this case, I don't want it to move. I want it to stay exactly like that because I'm not doing anything. I'm just closing out the last keyframe that I added, okay? And you'll see why. Because once I close that out, the next keyframe I add, which we know we're about to add one, it will not mess this anymore. This is already set. Whatever I add from here or from here will not mess up this right here. If I were to not close this out, Whatever I add here or whatever I add before will go ahead and have a say on this keyframe as well. Now, there is a time where you don't need to close out keyframes, but we'll talk about that in a different video. That way it's not uh, confusing, all right? So, point is, we closed out this keyframe, all right? Let's move the video along. Again, once I'm done, I just uh, press play and that's it, okay? So there we go. We're now on our other side. And again, I don't want you guys to see the boxes. I want you to see up. Oh, okay, so keyframe. There's my keyframe. Okay, cool. You see that? You can barely see it. Why? Because my video is a little too long. What do I do? <laughs> there it is. Uh, zoom in, zoom out on the timeline. And there it is. So that's the keyframe that I closed out, and this is the one that I just added, okay? So now that we're there, I wanna go ahead and tell, communicate with my software. I don't wanna see forwards, I wanna see up. We already saw that this one is for up, so click and drag. And look at my video. Now we're not looking at boxes, now we're looking at the inflatables. So let me go back on the timeline. And now you can see that since we close this out, boom, 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 forwards, 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 we get to the next. Uh, um, all right, so that's the, right there. We're at the keyframe where we close out. Now let's see what it does with the next one. See, look, look, look. Now, once we turn, once we turn, we didn't go straight to the uh, boxes. We went straight up because that's what the keyframe told the video to do 
Okay, so uh, hopefully that made sense. I don't know if that uh, made sense. Obviously, we'll keep talking about all of this as uh, we make more videos and hopefully it helps you out. But keyframes are your way to communicate with your timeline and tell it at this specific time on my video, I want you to do this. Okay, so let me turn you back around. Hold on. All right, so that's what a keyframe is that's what it do does and that's why you need to know exactly how to use it okay so uh, for me I'm gonna go ahead and finish editing uh, this uh, video out once this is done I, I need to uh, go ahead and um, convert it from 360 video into mp4 once I convert it to mp4 then I'm gonna go ahead and open Premiere Pro and then I'll go ahead and uh, get back to you guys and I'll show you the last little touches um, that we do on Premiere Pro because in Premiere Pro I personally don't do keyframes in Premiere Pro I do all of that on here and then on Premiere Pro I do the last kind of like color uh, the color make sure that it's correct uh, the audio make sure that it sounds good if I need to add music or transitions then we'll go ahead and do all of that in uh, Premiere Pro and I'll show you once we get there all right let me go ahead and finish this and we'll see you in a little bit